Good morning guys, my name is Anna and I'm a random stranger on the internet talking to you about beauty. I am so sorry I have been missing from the internet for quite a while. I had some life things come up, you know how that goes. I had, um, <laughs> you probably still hear it a little bit. I had strep throat, I've been working a lot of hours, moving some things around because of said strep throat. Um, my bathroom flooded. And now I have to replace my whole bathroom floor. So it's just been, it's been life. It's just been life. Life's been happening and going on. So I know I'm a little bit of a hot mess, but I just wanted to get back on here and spend some time with you guys and start filming again because I do miss filming and I do love it. But today let's get back to my pan that eyeshadow challenge. For those of you who don't know, um, I'll link up above, up above my uh, introduction video but i'm just trying to get some more use on my collection i love eyeshadow palettes i love them like it's my thing it's it's always going to be my thing and i just want my collection to reflect how much i really love eyeshadows <laughs> like you know i want it to look like they're used and utilized and appreciated for how fantastic they are. So I am randomizing five different shades and just trying to hit pan. I do have a cap. Um, if I don't hit pan in 60 uses, I can rotate it out, but I, I'm not there with any of my shadows yet. But so far I've really been making a lot of progress and I'm really excited, like really, really excited to share it with you guys today. But let's get into the ones that aren't there yet. Um, this is the MAC, this was the Cool Neutral palette. I'm actually panning ooh, uh, two different shades in this one. Let's open this bad boy up. Um, this one right here, this is called Blackberry. I think you can see. There is a sizable, sizable dip in this one but no pan yet. Um, if you can see the look I have on today, a purple look. Everything I've done lately has been purple. Everything. Because I've been trying so hard to hit pan in this one. I actually use the shade, I'm looking at my tallies, 24 times this month. Yeah, 24 times this month. And I had used it 14 times in the previous. But while there's a pretty good dip, Definitely no pan. The other one is this one right here. This is a shade called Sweet Allure. Um, I think, sorry, see. There is a very sizable dip in this shade, but I use a big, well, I'll actually show you the brush. I use like a big round fluffy brush. So the pan is super wide, it just, you know, it's not going to show up as distinctly as this one where I use a very narrow brush because I'm doing it on the outside. But I use this shade Sweet Allure 25 times. 25 times, no pan, but I think a pretty noticeable dip. Uh, Blackberry I've been working on for two months. Sweet Allure I rolled in last month. So no pan yet in this infinitely going <sighs> palette. I... I'm getting really sick of purple looks, which I feel bad for because it's actually a really good shade and it's, you know, I don't actually mind purple looks. I just have been really trying to hit pan. I really wanted to hit pan this time and it just feels like these pans go on forever. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. The next shade I have is from the ABH Soft Glam Palette. It is the shade Sultry. I have nothing to brag about on this one. It's this one right here. There is a little bit of a dip in it, but I had that basically before I started. I only used this six times this month. So I was really focusing on the other one. So we got a long way to go with this, this bad boy. But I rolled that one in last month too. One that I've been working on for two months. This is the ABH Subculture Palette. It was the shade Edge right here. And I don't know if you can see, but look at that. We hit pan! Yay! I freaking love this palette. It's relatively new to my collection. Um, 
I bought it in February. So yeah, I just, I love it. I really love it. And I was super excited to hit something like hit pan on a color as bold as this one, because this is not in my wheelhouse like this. This is not, not my wheelhouse at all. So to really work with this yellow, push me outside my comfort zone, which is also part of what I wanted to do with this. And I'm just like really proud of myself for hitting pan on such a bold shade, something so outside my, my thing, my zone. So, all right. So hit pan on one. And then this last one was from the Urban Decay Naked 3. The shade was Strange. Now I had used this 32 times the previous month. And if you will see here, there we go. We hit paint on another shade. I actually used this um, 10 times before I hit paint and then I used it one additional time after that. But yeah, yeah, boom, two, two. I hit paint on two shadows in this. And, drum roll please, I have some bonus pans. Mm -hmm. I have bonus pans. Um, one of them is actually from the Too Faced Sweet Peach one. I actually hit pan right here on the shade Bellini. I use this a lot to go with that purple shade, the Blackberry from the MAC palette. I used it so much that I actually like hit pan. Look at that. Bonus pan. So that's three I hit pan on, even though we're only replacing two. And then, and then we've got this guy. This is the ABH self made palette. Nobody ever talks about this, but I actually really liked it. Um, the shade in here, hot and cold, it's what I switched to after the Bellini or Bellini shade. And I hit pan on that one too. Mm hmm. So this past month, I hit pan on four shades, two in my challenge and two outside of my challenge. And I'm just so freaking excited and proud of myself. So yeah, still got some work to do, but I have actually hit like zero. Uh, I am at 1.4% pan on my eyeshadows, which is actually fantastic for me because I, I was not, I didn't even have 1% pan when I started this project. So in two months, I'm actually at 1% pan. We're moving the right direction, guys. We really are. All right, are you ready for the fun part where we get to pick some new shades? We're going to do the randomizer app. Um, I got rid of a palette and then I got, ooh, I got a new palette. So I actually have 469 shadows in my collection. Now my spreadsheet has every shadow I have in a palette, including blacks and super dark browns. But if I roll one of them, I will not be including that. I'm not gonna paint a shade like that. I just, I know myself, I'm not going to. So if we roll one of those, we'll re-roll. But yeah, all right. So just pull this up. This is the Pretty Randomizer app. I got the shade 28. I'm gonna make sure to write this down. Uh, one of you guys pointed out in the last month's video that I had actually pulled the wrong one. Like I had misread the number, miswrote it down, and I've actually been working on the wrong shade. Um, but we're, we're too far in now at this point. So we're gonna keep working on it. All right, 28 and 173. All right, give me a minute. And we'll find out what shades those are. All right, so number 28 is from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and it is the shade Chopped. This is where we're starting out. I'll swatch it for you. It is a beautiful kind of bronzy color. Nothing wrong with that. I will absolutely take that. And then number 173 comes from the ABH Sultry palette. One of my favorites and I will be excited to have pan on one of these shades. And it is the shade Teak. This one right here, which I actually, it appears I have never used. So 
outside of the first swatch, you'll get a true representation of how long it takes to paint that. And this is a shade right there, very bronzy. Well, these are the two new shades we will be rolling in. And give me just a minute and I will get a full swatch for you guys of every shade we'll be working on in this quintet. All right, so this is the quintet we will be working on on this go. It's actually really beautiful. Like if this was a little mini palette, I would be pretty drawn to it. So MAC Blackberry, Matte Sweet Allure. This is the from the Soft Glam um, Edge. And then these are the two we just rolled in. This is from Urban Decay 3 Chopped. And this is Teak from the Sultry Palette. So there we go. So all in all, I'm pretty excited. I mean, it's a it's a good run. Um, obviously, my goals for this month, I'd like to hit pan in both of these in here. That would be a huge accomplishment to actually have two pans in this bottomless Mary Poppins pit of a eyeshadow palette. Um, all the rest of them are pretty brand new. I'm not sure how much luck I will have, but I need to keep things in perspective. I had such a fantastic month this month with hitting pan on four shades that it'll be okay if I don't hit pan on everything next month, but we're still gonna hope that we do. All right guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thanks for sticking with this series. It's definitely my favorite series I'm working on right now and one of your guys' favorite too, so thank you so much. Um, go into the world. Be fabulous, be you. Take care, guys. Bye.